I knew there wasn't enough racists. I knew there wasn't enough billionaires. I knew there wasn't enough religious fanatics. But I didn't count on one thing, Brian. There are enough stupid fucking white people. You, I don't. I don't think you could ever discount uh, the amount of ignorant people in this country, and uh, they fell for it. You mean to tell me that there are seriously fifty million misguided, gullible motherfuckers in this country that cannot look at him, cannot listen to any words that come out of his mouth, cannot read any story by any credited? News organization, and I'm talking about, yes, Newsweek and New York Times and Washington Post and big newspapers and magazines with journalists that know what the fuck they're doing instead of a goddamn guy that works at the fucking Jiffy Lube or a coal miner in West Virginia or maybe just goddamn listens to their brother-in-law when they're out drinking beer at the cookout. You dumb shits. You can't see through that every time he gets up in front of people with that fucking obnoxious smirk on his fucking face. How is this going to just affect me? Let me go ahead and be be all self-centered now and just think about me. How is this going to affect me? I'm not going to have an abortion. That's pretty safe to say, right? Wouldn't you agree with that? I'm not going to, if if we get in a war because he fucking in the middle of blowing Putin, somehow he rakes him with his teeth. And Putin gets mad at his bitch and tries to slap him around. If we get into war, I'm not going to go. I'm too old and nobody would want me fighting in the trenches. So everybody that's out there that's got sons and daughters that are going to get killed, well, I'm sorry, crummy for you. And speaking of the sons and daughters, I don't need the free college tuition so that I can educate myself and get a job in the real world of today instead of being a coal miner so they can keep you down there in the hole where they want you. You fucking idiots. You vote against your best interests every time. I'm about done with you. And yes, I did call you Kentucky motherfuckers hillbillies on Twitter, and I can do that because I'm a hillbilly too because I'm from Kentucky, but at least I edumacated myself. You fucking piss poor goddamn excuses for fucking human beings. So anyway... I, I, I don't need, I'm not planning on having uh, the, the Caitlyn Jenner treatment anytime soon. I'm not going to let anybody chop my dick off. It's barely there as it is. Um, I don't need the LGBT rights, right? Because I'm neither LGB nor T. So fuck all those people. That doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm, I'm 55 years old, so I won't live long enough. At least I hope I don't, you know, for, for the planet to melt around me. Because these fucking idiots that we just put in power in the nation, in the leading nation in the world, think that climate change was a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese to get an advantage in trade uh, because they don't believe in science, because they don't believe in knowledge. Uh, I, I won't live long enough to see the planet melt, so that doesn't, doesn't bother me. So at any rate, uh, the country has spoken. And as long as he doesn't crash the economy and, and cause me to have to be out on the street corner selling pencils out of a tin cup, I guess I will just accept this horse shit. Um, and, and we all should. All the, the, the smart 50 million should just say, oh, well, there was a, a few, about a million and a half fewer of us, but they live in the right places. So now we have a bunch of fucking maniacs running our country and scaring the world to death. And this is preferable to the intelligent, articulate, reasonable, smart, cool, calm, collected black guy that we have just seen what a leader looks like. So now we're going to go as far the opposite direction as possible because we didn't like the fact that his shit worked and we were wrong because we're either misguided billionaires, religious fanatics, hillbillies, coal miners, or gullible. Did I mention fucking gullible? 